Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2022 Kia Carnival SX Prestige, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The 2022 Kia Carnival takes the place of Kia's outgoing Sedona in the U.S. market. Kia is rebooting its minivan to give it an edgier, boxier look to help fight the stigma of the minivan. Kia's upcoming people mover can tow 3,500 pounds thanks to a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6 that makes 290 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque. Large wheels, crossover-like proportions, and signature daytime running lights that flow into the grille gives the Carnival an upscale SUV vibe. There's also a host of driver assist features that are offered as standard, including automated emergency braking. Infotainment tech gets an upgrade as well with an optional dual display setup with digital gauges and a navigation equipped center touchscreen. Look for the Carnival on dealer lots in the spring of 2021. Offered in LX, LX with seating package, EX, SX, and SX Prestige, the 2022 Kia Carnival comes loaded with standard safety features, including automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, blind spot monitors, active lane control, parking sensors, automatic high beams, and a driver attention warning. Optional driver assist features include navigation-based adaptive cruise control, a surround view camera system, rear automatic braking, and a side view monitor that projects blind spot objects in the instrument cluster. The base model 2022 Kia Carnival is the LX. It starts at $32,100. Standard gear for the base model LX includes a seven passenger seating configuration with rear air conditioning, power sliding rear doors, smart key and push button start, and eight inch touchscreen infotainment system with rear view monitor lane keeping assist, blind spot warning, rear cross traffic collision avoidance, automatic emergency braking, and rear occupant alert with ultrasonic sensors are on deck as well. There's also Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. For the LX seat package, customers will have to pay a minimum of $34,100. This version of the 2022 Carnival adds the Sentex upholstery, heated front seats with power adjustment on the driver's side, leather wrapped steering wheel and gear shift knob and seating for up to eight. Next up, the Carnival Ladder is the EX trim, which starts at $37,600 and gets standard niceties such as tri-zone automatic climate control, a 12.3 inch infotainment display in place of the LX's eight inch unit, and a power operated tailgate. Carnival SX models are priced from $41,100 and stir everything from the EX in with luxury touches such as heated and ventilated front seats, a dual screen rear seat entertainment setup to keep the kiddos occupied on longer trips, a surround view parking camera, and a parking collision avoidance system. The cream of the crop Carnival SX Prestige models get all of the good stuff. If there's an option for the Carnival, this bad boy's got it as standard. That means a 12-speaker Bose audio system, 12.3-inch digital driver's display, dual LED headlights, and pure leather seat trim are all standard. All the fancy kit doesn't come cheap, and SX Prestige Carnivals start at a hefty $46,100. That might be a pretty big check to write, but you are getting one handsome and seriously well-equipped people mover that stands out in the minivan segment. The 2022 Kia Carnival will be offered in five trim levels ranging from the value-oriented LX to the deluxe SX Prestige. And although we are going to build and price the top-tier SX Prestige, it appears as though the EX represents the sweet spot between features and price. The EX trim comes with several convenience features that help to justify the cost of upgrading, including a power-operated rear liftgate, an in-cabin intercom, and a voice control system that allows rear seat passengers to provide commands to the Carnival's infotainment system. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2022 Kia Carnival. It's all new this year, uh, but real quick before we actually get started, I just want to remind you to take a look at some of my other related build and price reviews. I've put links down in the description below. Uh, the, the Kia Carnival has two main competitors. I've done build and price reviews of both of them for 2021. I did the 2021 Toyota Sienna minivan, 
in the top tier platinum trim, and honestly, it is very nice. I also did the uh, 2021 Chrysler Pacifica Pinnacle, also the top tier trim with all wheel drive. Uh, I, we also know that the Carnival replaces the Sedona, but they did, Kia did make a Sedona for 2021, and I did a build in price of the 2021 Kia Sedona. I did that in the EX trim. Uh, also, the Carnival kind of looks like a the Kia Telluride, and so just because I'm going to put up my build and price to the 2021 Kia Telluride that I did in the SX trim level. So after you watch this video, make sure you check out one or two of those other videos as well. Okay, so before we actually jump over and do the build of our top tier SX Prestige, let's go over all the features of this brand new 2022 Carnival. Uh, so let's start off with what? The features, there are the design. They say it's got a bold design. It's got an all new look. It's got a bold design. Uh, it says it has a commanding on-road presence. We got the standard LED headlights. We know about the 3.5 liter V6 that has 290 horsepower. They say that's the best in class. There's not many other vehicles in the class, but it's best in class nonetheless. 3,500 pound toy capacity. And there's an available accessory roof rack, which they're actually showing up there. Now, if we take a look inside here, we can see what they want to tell us. They're showing us the SX interior here. So that's one tier from the very, very top. So best in class passenger space with three available seating arrangements. There's available eight passenger seating, but not on the base model. The base model gives you seven passenger seating. Uh, there's an available VIP lounge seating. And there's two rows of heated and ventilated leather or Centex uh, seat trim available. That Centex is going to be their simulated version of leather. All right, let's move on to available convenience. Okay, so that just slid back. So it's showing us uh, some different setups there with available convenience. That must be the lounge seating right there. And so, yeah, pretty cool. All right, available convenience, life made easier, driver and rear passenger talk system. There's a driver view of second and third rows with night vision. Uh, there's a smart power sliding doors and power lift gate and a dual power sunroof. And I just love these big 12.3-inch uh, screens. They're, they're very, very nice. It's not Mercedes-Benz nice because they do their screens like that too. But nonetheless, it's nice. All right, let's move on to technology now. See what they wanted to show us. So they're looking like they're showing us the rear seat entertainment uh, with device mirroring. They say there's also nine USB chargers with front wireless charger. We know that there's standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and they, they, these are dual 12-inch displays. What do we got for a driver assist over here? All right, now we're out of the vehicle. I like. Oh, now we're going for a trip, too. Wow, where are we headed? Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, so some kind of sensor is going on here. All right, there we go. So we got the Kia DriveWise Drive Assist technology. That was pretty cool how they did that. You got the standard blind spot and four collision avoidance. You got the available blind spot view monitor and the available smart cruise control and highway driving assist. So you've got some standard features, which are nice, and you got some upgraded uh, technology features, which, which are even nicer. There's no writing under here, but there's like one more tab to click, and I don't really know where. Okay, I guess we're just leaving. All right, that was cool. Check it out. Here's the instrument cluster right here. It says... The Kia DriveWise, which was that safety technology. We just actually went over all that. Let's find out what they want to tell us about all this. Okay, so what they're actually doing is now they're going to show us some some um, some displays of all this. So this is the blind spot view monitor, and this is an available system. Here's your uh, 360 camera, highway driving assistance. You've got your navigation base smart cruise control with stop and go. So these are those uh, four available additional features above and beyond the Kia DriveWise stuff. Then they've got this driver assistance suite. Here they say you got the safe exit assist. You got the rear occupant alert with ultrasonic sensors. You've got forward collision avoidance. And you have blind spot assistance. Rear cross traffic collision avoidance. This is, I love this one. This is one of my favorite pieces of a tech. Uh, and then you have the parking collision avoidance, also standard. 
Okay, moving on, they're showing us a gallery here. We're not going to go through the full gallery because, well, we kind of used up and looked up some of those gallery images uh, during the intro, and they don't really have many exciting images, to be quite honest with you, for it being a very new vehicle. Uh, but yeah, here's the shots. We can go through them. Uh, the interior, it's not bad looking. It kind of falls apart down here at the bottom, but I mean, at the end of the day, it is a minivan, so I mean, they're trying. Uh, the seat, those lounge seats are very nice. I don't think I would have a need for them, but they are very cool seats. Uh, the interior is nice. The is a very nice execution. Uh, the, and the exterior, the exterior is okay. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a minivan. I'm not a fan of minivans. I'm not going to say that, but it's not a bad looking one as far as minivans go. Although I think the Toyota Sienna is nicer. All right, let's check out some exterior colors and in seat trim colors and stuff. We can also do a 360 virtual uh, walk around of this uh, Kia Carnival, right? And there it is, it's all newly redesigned. This color here is called Astra Blue. Then we have a flare red. We have a ceramic silver, deep chroma blue, Aurora black pearl, Panthera, Pantera metal. We have a silky silver, and then there's a snow white pearl. All right, so here we are in the interior. We can drag this around to interact as well. Maybe we need a larger, can we make the screen larger? Let me see. Yes, we can, but then it becomes too big for, for us all to see. So we'll just kind of root around in here. We saw the interior anyway. What we really want to do is we want to take a look at some of this seat trim. So this seat trim color is called Off Black and Tuscan Umber Two-Tone Leather. Look how they have it on this white background. It looks horrible. It makes it very, very hard. So there it is. We can see it better. Off Black and Tuscan Umber Two-Tone Leather. And then this one here is the off black and gray two-tone leather. Here's your off black and gray two-tone cloth. Obviously, these are the different seat trims across all the different configurations. That Tuscan umber leather, obviously, you're going to find that on something like the SX Prestige, not your base model LX. Okay, here we have the off black and gray two-tone Syntex. This is our off black and saddle brown Centex. And then we have the off black and Tuscan umber two-tone Centex. So I like the Tuscan umber. I think it's nice, but we'll be getting ours in leather, not the Centex. Okay, I guess I wasn't too far off. In the intro, I ended up saying, hey, even though we're going to build and price the top tier SX Prestige, because that's how I roll. Uh, it appeared that the EX represented the sweet spot between features and price, and apparently uh, Kia thinks the same thing. They've, they've, they've let us know right here uh, that the EX combines the next level tech enhancements and additional driver assist and all that stuff. And they say that these features can be added to the LX seat package for a minimal fee, however. So they're just giving us all the bullet points of the EX, like the navigation system, the 12.3 inch display, the tailgate, the wireless phone charger, which is awesome. Uh, you got the live rear passenger view, which, you know, if you got your family, that's that's going to be relevant for you. And so that's really cool. Okay, let's move on. They're going to tell us about the multi-purposed in interior. It's got premium comfort and a flexible design. So let's see what they want to tell us. Okay, so we got the second row slide flex seating that they're showing here. Uh, we've got the... The VIP lounge. I mean, we don't really get a chance to see it because they want to really play a movie, but we can see how they have like a big guitar here and some and the second row seat folded down on one side but up on the other. We can see how they're offering you that flex seating. Uh, so you got the VIP lounge. So yeah, that's some serious seats for some vehicle like this. So you got the VIP lounge. Here they're showing you room for more cargo. Again, they want to show you a video, but we can we get it. Uh, they got the smart doors with the hatch, and you got seat trims options, right? So you can either have the durable Syntex, you can get genuine leather, or, well, if you get the base model, you're going to get cloth. Okay, so we went through design features. We went through some interior features. Let's talk about entertainment and convenience features now. 
Here they're showing us the available dual screen rear seat entertainment with device mirroring. Uh, there's the new available two-way intercom, intercom system. It's the driver and passenger talk. There's, oh wow, check that out. Passenger view with night vision. Uh, also an available feature. This is not standard. Here they're showing the dual 12.3 inch, 12 inch screens with navigation. And as we already confirmed, it's no Mercedes screen, but it's still very cool. Uh, especially at this price point. Now, <laughs> the Mercedes are going to be paying a lot more than this to get those dual screens. Uh, and then here they're talking about their available 11 speaker premium Bose audio system. What are they saying here? Uh, they're talking about the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It's standard. They're talking about the available 12.3 inch display that puts your most important controls and technology in the front of you and all the USB and wireless charging. Uh, you got up to nine USB charging point, uh, ports across all three rows and a front wireless uh, charger, compatible charger. So cool. Okay, moving on, let's talk about safety, right? They say travel with peace of mind. They're showing some airbags there. Let's check it out. So yeah, here they're talking about the advanced airbags, and then we've got the child safety. You got the lower anchors and tethers. They call that the latch system. Uh, lighter and stronger, high strength steel, uh, and all that good stuff there. You got the right, you know, rigid uh, body structure. You know, it's all about safety, and so that's your takeaway on that paragraph. Uh, some other features which we already knew about, like best-in-class horsepower with the 290 horsepower. Uh, the Carnival can tow 3,500 pounds, and they got a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. All right, UVO. That's what uh, Kia calls their infotainment system. Here they're going to show us some bullet points, uh, like the connected routing. It's available navigation system that uses real-time and historical traffic data and all this other kind of stuff to predict the quickest routes between two points. You got the 911 Connect and Roadside Assist. You got voice assistance like Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. You've got calendar integration like by seeking Google or iCloud calendars. Uh, and last mile navigation. So yeah, there you go. Now they're gonna tell us about the quality of the Carnival, the Kia Carnival. They say that it's had global testing, under extreme temperatures and it's been pushed to the limit they're trying to let you know that this thing's been everywhere from the alaskan tundra to death valley uh that they've gone from minus 40 degrees fahrenheit to plus 130 degrees uh in some of the hottest places on earth and so yeah they say that they've they put it from extreme radiation magnify heat corrosive salt water They've thrown everything at this vehicle, and here it is. So there it is. They've tested it for strength and then some, and I guess it's passed. Okay, so we've gone through all the features. We've looked over the gallery. There's nothing left to do here, but go ahead and select our top tier SX Prestige trim and go ahead and build a price. It starts at $46,100. It's worth noting that I did notice that the base model LX only comes in four colors. Seems like the other ones... They get varying colors. They get varying colors. And so, well, it seems like it kind of sorts itself out by the time you hit the EX trim level. The EX, SX, and SX Prestige seem to get the same colors. So, yeah, at any rate, there was just something I noticed. Let's go ahead and click this Build tab and get started. Now, here's what I do know about this Kia configurator because it's caught me out many times before. You start moving colors around and stuff like that too much, you might get kicked off of your, your trim level. So we're going to keep an eye on this trim level. You know, as far as colors go, I'm not quite sure what color, exterior color I like. I know that I do like that off black and Tuscan umber two-tone leather. So we're going to absolutely leave that for sure. Don't ask me how, but like I said, this Kia configurator catches me out. Somehow we've ended up at Astra Blue. I'm not going to necessarily say that's the color I like. I, I really want to go ahead and, and choose maybe this Aurora Black Pearl, but I bet you it's going to move our configuration around. So, But let's go ahead and get this selected to Aurora Black Pearl, see what happens. Yeah, see, it changes to the LX seating package. Let me get us to the SX Prestige in this Aurora Black Pearl, and then we'll move forward. Well, you know what? I have no idea how to get it over to the Aurora Black Pearl. If you've watched any of my latest Kia videos, I always complain when I get to the end and get to this configurator. I wish they'd just do it more like everybody else. 
and then they further confuse you by saying, hey, choose your must-haves or select a trim. They just do it really backwards. The SX is already selected. And then really, they say packages and options. These are really just accessories. Mud guards, cargo trays, wheel locks, those are all accessories. So the reality is, is there's nothing to build in price on a top tier prestige. There's probably not much to build in price on any of them because they, you kind of get what you get and there's not much room to move. So I don't know how we did it, but we don't have the black. We don't have it in Aurora black, but we'd like to have this vehicle in Aurora black with the Tuscan umber interior, which is nice. So let's just go over to the summary. So yeah, there it is. It's 46,100. You know, you got a little tax in there, et cetera, et cetera. You know, you're just over $47,000 for this thing. It's a lot of money. I can't even choose the color I want off of their website. Uh, you know what? I still think the Toyota Sienna is nicer. Uh, and on that note, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this review of the 2022 Kia Carnival helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day. And I'll see you on the very next video. And that won't be a Kia video.